Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Tentacle video. We're going to be covering a question that was asked me on Facebook regarding comments from CD Projekt Red, which concerns the Xbox One's the GPU and DirectX 12. So stay tuned in just a moment because I'm going to give you a demonstration of this, but I'll go into the comments first. So these are comments from the game's lead engine programmer. His name is Balaz Toluk, and he has basically stated... Uh, regarding DirectX 12 and I quote I think this is a confusion about what and why DX12 will improve most games out there can't go 1080p this by the way is in um, relation to the Xbox One because the load on the shedding units would be too much for all those games DX12 is not going to change anything however he does add and I quote, they might be able to push more triangles on the GPU, but they're not going to be able to shade them, which defeats the purpose. To answer the first question, I think we will see a change in the way graphics programmers will think about their pipelines, and this will result in much bit better systems, hopefully. Okay, so now we're in UDK, Unreal Development Kit, and uh, this is free, by the way, you can get it from Epic, and... Um, it allows you to pretty much create your own game engine. It's basically a game engine that allows you then to change the assets and so on. So what we're going to be doing is just using this as a demonstrational tool to show you what the differences is between shaders and lit, unlit, textures and so on. It's going to be a pretty dirty explanation. It's certainly not going to be super in-depth, but it's just going to give you an idea of what this is all about. So, I basically used one of the prefabbed examples they've got. This is just um, a simple level, and I've just buggered around a little bit with it. I've just gone ahead and added a random floor texture, which looks rather spiffy. And we've also got a box over here and a box over there with just a couple of random textures that I threw on. And I'll show you how that works real quick. Uh, there's particle systems, um, you've got animation, all other bits and pieces. You can see right here you've got static meshes um, that you can just kind of drag onto things and all of that, other bits and pieces. Um, but we're not really focused on that. So even though we've got loads of this stuff, some of it's not going to be appearing because I've not got it loaded in. Uh, you can probably see that, but you do have, for example, um, particle effects, you've got um, particle systems if you so desire to use them, uh, you've got floor textures here, um, metal textures. Now all of these are basically assets you would use in a level, okay? So you can use some of this stuff and uh, just kind of throw it on objects if you so desire. <coughs> Excuse me guys. You can see right there that that's actually playing. Uh, you can actually make this go real time if you so wish. And you can see what's going on there. So basically, this is being shaded. This is like a shaded view viewport. You can actually see other examples of viewports. Let me just uh, let's just close it out. Actually, minimize it. It's just uh, disappeared down there. So you can always bring that back if you need to. So these are unshaded. What that basically means is you can actually see the raw geometry that makes up a level. You can see a random wheel spinning there. It's kind of cool, doesn't it? Yeah, fear that wheel. So, the basic premise... Let's just move that up. It's making me really scared. There we go. We've got a couple other bits and pieces there. Like It looks like uh, these little miniature particle systems. I'm guessing they're from weapons and so on. So, this isn't anything other than a very basic example of a level. It's a silly example, but you could, if I wanted to, I could actually render this out and create a level. Well, not render, but um, export this out and actually run around in this very small, tiny-ass level. Um, but what you've got here, uh, in some cases, you've got a light source, which would be over there somewhere. You can tell because you've got, well, shadows. Um, so what basically this is doing, because this is a shaded viewport, it's t calculating things such as lighting, it's calculating things, as you can see, uh, it does actually make a difference if you start messing around with lighting as well, but um, this will actually start calculating things such as lighting, it will start calculating the textures and all the other bits and pieces and that's what you get shaded. So what this chap's saying about the DX12 is he's basically saying that the Xbox One's GPU isn't actually fast enough to shade 
the additional information that the CPU is going to be sending it. And I can give you an example of this, actually. I'm not too, too familiar with UDK, but I know it just enough to do this stuff. So we could go to wireframe. So you can see everything looks a lot different here. You've actually got very basic, these are basically the primitive uh, building blocks that make up a level. So these are basically the very um, simple geometry. You can see you've got wireframe, but then if we go to unlit, it looks a little different. Unlit, you've got no shadows whatsoever, so you're basically the GPU or CPU, depending on the game engine and mode, is not calculating shadows. It, it doesn't have to worry about where the light sourcing is. You do have some things like this animation here is lovingly playing in the background. You've got these particle effects, but they're not emitting light. Um, and then you've got lit, and then finally you've got detailed lighting, um, which is going to give you different results based on what you're using. Obviously, I've not really set up scene lighting or whatever. Normally, you'd actually set up uh, locations where the player spawns. You'd set up lighting. Um, so, for example, you'd change the radius of the light, the intensity of the light, the color even, um, how often or how focused it is. For example, it does it flash, does it, is it constant, whatever. And uh, that's basically what you'd be doing. So the purpose of this um, demonstration is basically what he's saying is that it's going to be able to create the triangles. It's going to be able to tell the GPU, um, hey, draw this. In other words, it's going to be able to actually do that, but the GPU just doesn't have the processing power. The shade is capable. It's got 768. Uh, it doesn't have enough now, enough TMUs most likely either to do that. So what he's saying is that in some ways it's going to be an improvement, other ways it's not. Now my personal opinion, I'm just going to be doing a loving like, hoppy dance here. While I, in fact, you can actually see, I even forgot to shade this in the background, you can actually see what it looks like, just kind of like a default texture. Uh, this is just pretty much what UDK installs as a base. You can actually see some other little shiners here. We are failing over the controls. So it's kind of nice. In fact, I think you can actually use wires. Oh, yeah, you can. So I've even thrown in a staircase there. See how the geometry actually interacts with one another, if you so desire. So what he's basically saying is that in some ways it's going to improve things. Other ways it's not. My personal opinion on this, um, I'm just going to be doing flyby. We're going to be diving. Um, is that in some ways I think DX12 will help. But it's far too early to make a judgment call. To be honest with you, there are so many NDAs with DX12. It's pretty much a lot of developers are guessing. Um, I personally feel there will be an improvement in certain areas, but ultimately, 1.2, 1 1.32. I'm sorry, TFLOPs of computing power is still 1.32 TFLOPs of computing power. It won't be able to be more than that it won't be overclocking the gpu but what it probably will do is make it more efficient but it's still a little early to say anyway guys hopefully that's given you a brief understanding of this I'm apologies for being a little bit rambly as i might have mentioned i honestly don't remember now um i am suffering quite severely with migraines and stuff the last couple of days i've not been too super super well so hopefully you can forgive any rambling slash uh, if i'm not too coherent but um anyway Hopefully found it useful. I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.